welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a share for you and I'm joining Galaxy Girl and all the other lovely ladies in the YouTube Harp Stretch the Sketch, which we try to do every month. I try to, but they are more consistent than me. So, today's sketch is a very fun one. And this is the sketch from Page Map. And as you know, we are only allowed to either shrink the sketch or stretch it. And today I have stretched it into double page layout. And when I first saw the sketch, I really wanted to use some of my doodle bug collection because I thought it was so cute with the unicorn and the rainbows. But unfortunately, I didn't think it worked with my photos because I wanted to do of these photos about us going to our ice cream restaurant in Söderköping, which we try to do every year. And the colors in the photo really didn't work with those very strong, vibrant colors as Doodlebug uses. So in the end, I went back and I used my favorite summer collection, which is Summer by Cartabella, which I got this summer and I have used it a lot since then. And I like the softness of it. And I think that worked very well with my photos. I have used the same papers, just shifted them. Good way to make your paper stretch a bit longer. And I have also used some six by six papers. And that this was a scrap from when I used it before. And then I did something that I usually don't do. I used some stickers as anchoring pieces for my uh, clusters. And then I went in with a lot of shipboard. And I'm not that used to using the, this much shipboard, but I think it worked and it was fun. And I used some puffy stickers. And some sequins from Spiegelmann scraps. And this is actually not from Cartabella, these ML dots. <laughs> Sorry, I lost the word for a moment. Uh, they are actually from Simple Stories, and they do work since we do have this more bright pink as well. It's a bit strange when it's so close to the peach, but I think it works. And I used the two border strips. I actually bought two of the collection kit because I really loved it and I wanted more papers. So I got two sticker sheets so I could really go to town with the big border strips. And I used some splatters and that was by Tonic Studios, their Novo. One moment and I will get it for you. It is this lovely spray on Mica Mist and it's in Nubel, Nubula Blue, I 
hope I pronounced that one right. I hope otherwise you might be able to read it. It's hard when you find new words that you haven't pronounced before and you have to do it on video. <laughs> the photos are, as I told you, from a restaurant that we visit every year, every summer. It's in a city called Söderköping. It's not very far from where I live. And this is my son, my oldest daughter, and my youngest daughter, and my hubby. And then a group photo. And I thought it was a bit... Well, I wanted a, third, a si sixth photo. But I really didn't have any, so I just put a sticker there, popped it up on some foam as well. And they are my sunshine, so it's a good mini title or subtitle. I really love how this layout came together and how easy it was to work to it with. I really love page maps sketches. They are so easy to understand and see how they thought about the design and then do it as you want. Just pull out some inspiration or do it very literally as I do. The only thing I think I have added is these small uh, word strips up here. Otherwise, I am very literary when I scrapbook sketches. And I think that is about everything I have to say about this layout. Please go down in the description box and click on the next person in line and jump along. You will have so many beautiful layouts and videos to watch today because they are so talented my other participants and i hope you will have a nice sunday and a wonderful week bye